Hey, hey, what is up my friends? So a couple weeks ago, I got one of those fancy new um, iPad Pros uh, with the, uh, the pencil. And I got it so I could start creating um, some illustrations. Uh, before I was using one of those Wacom tablets, um, but I was kind of having a tough time because like I couldn't actually see what I was doing. I had to draw and then look at the screen. Uh, but with the iPad, I can actually just um, see what I'm drawing, uh, which makes it a completely different experience. So since getting this, I have created a number of different uh, illustrations. Um, I created this little panda one. That was pretty fun. I've created some with a Chico character, um, a lot of just random ones. Um, and it's been a ton of fun. My goal has been to do a uh, new illustration every single day uh, since I've gotten it. Um, I missed a, a day because uh, some of the illustrations I've done took uh, a couple days. Anyways, uh, in this video, I wanted to uh, share my process for creating an illustration using the iPad Pro. So the app I've been using is called Adobe Draw. So Adobe Draw is sort of like um, Illustrator for the iPad. Uh, one of the reasons I love it is because um, I can um, obviously hand draw all my illustrations, but then I can just click a few buttons and actually send the file to Illustrator and I can go in there and uh, actually clean up the file if I want to uh, use it for something serious. Like, um, for example, if I make a poster design, I can uh, send it to Illustrator, clean up all the anchor points and everything. and make it nice and neat before I send it off to the printer. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about my uh, process. Uh, so let's open up uh, Adobe Draw. Uh, you can see I have all the uh, doodles I've created here um, so far. Uh, let me just hit plus. I have a custom format, which is uh, 2500 by 2500 pixels, uh, but they give you a ton of various uh, formats to choose from and uh, you can always change it like mid design, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you find yourself needing more room, you can just go in there and change the format, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that. So it creates this artboard. I can take uh, two fingers and like pinch and zoom in and out. And that's how I can like move around the artboard. Uh, so what I normally do is I start with a very basic sketch. Um, so I use this, um, basic flat uh, pencil and the size you can change. I usually have it pretty small at like 3.5. The opacity is about 60% and the color I just selected like this uh, light purplish bluish color um, and the side is how you can change all the all the settings. For example the size you just like scale it up or scale it down which is pretty cool. Yeah so I usually start with a sketch so for example, if I was gonna do a face, I could just start like um, drawing a basic circle and then let's put some like dividing lines so I can get like the, the cross uh, for where the eyes and nose and such should go. So I basically do it very, very rough to start with and then clean it up from there. Put some eyes in there. Let's maybe make a, a, a angry looking character, something like this. Um, if I go back, this bottom one is the eraser tool um, that has all the same settings. You can like change the size and such. Um, so if I just like erase like so, whoops. Something like that could work. Let's maybe draw some teeth in there and maybe like a big old tongue. Uh, one of the cool things is if you like click and hold on a closed shape, it will just uh, fill in with that color, which is pretty dope. Let's draw some eyes. Maybe give them some, some ears like so. And let's uh, draw an outline for the hair. Maybe give them a big swoop like so. And then I can just go in and like erase these lines and such. All right, so it really doesn't need to be perfect. Um, 
So from here, what I normally do is uh, drop down the opacity, um, create a new layer, new draw layer, and then I use um, a basic round brush and I have um, some colors selected uh, that I've saved to my library. I usually use this like dark grayish blue color. Um, the size is about 12 points and I usually just uh, go ahead and try to trace. Whoops. Well, that is uh, far too large. Let's drop down the size to maybe like six or five. So yeah, from here, I just try to uh, trace um, my sketch and like tr clean it up as I go. What I've been really trying to practice is like keeping my lines super straight or super clean and smooth. Uh, that is something I hope I will get better at over time. Um, stuff for like the eyes, I normally create a new layer and then I go in and duplicate that layer um, and then transform the duplicated and uh, move it over. That way I, I just have um, the same thing for like uh, symmetry and the eyes and stuff. Unless he's like, unless the character is like looking at a certain angle, uh, that's what I normally do. And then you can just click on it and merge it down into a, a single layer. And uh, I'm just doing this super quick for an example. I don't expect it to come out super well. Alright, so his chin looks super weird. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it, let's see, like right here maybe? Cut this piece out. Maybe a bit more. And let's go back to the drawing layer. Let's hide these and maybe it should be something like... I mean, that doesn't look great, but it looks a little bit better. So yeah, not perfect by any means. This was a uh, very, very quick sketch uh, just to uh, show you how I do it. Uh, so from there, once I have the outline, I'll go behind that layer and uh, create a new layer. And I select the color that I want to draw for the skin. Maybe uh, this like peach color. And I'll just go in and go around the outline and then you just gotta click and hold and it will fill that color in, like so. Cool, so this looks terrible, but um, from here, um, once I have the fill, I create another layer on top of the fill, and I usually uh, do a, um, a layer for my shadows and a layer for my highlights. Uh, so for the shadows, I usually pick the same color that I do the outline with. Um, and then I go on that layer and drop the opacity to maybe like 20%. Um, so like there would probably be a shadow like under his hair. So I would just draw something like that. Create a new layer, drop the opacity to maybe like 50% on this one. And then I would pick like a white color and like the top of the head would probably have a shadow. Um, right above his like cheeks, those would probably be sh um, a highlight. Did I say shadow? I meant highlight. Um, on his nose maybe would be a highlight as well. And then like the bottom of his ears, uh, light might be shining down on it. And yeah, that is pretty much all there is to it. Uh, normally I spend a lot more time on these, um, but the, the gist of it is the same. I uh, create a quick sketch, but from there I would just create the actual outline of it um, and any like special features. And then um, below that I would create a fill layer. Above that I would create a shadow and a highlight layer. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Like if we go to like this Yeti one, you can see I have a bunch of different layers. I have a layer for like the background color, um, the fill, also like this uh, sketch layer as well. 
um, was just like the rough um, outline of what I wanted to do. All right, before we're done, let me show you one last thing that I really, really do love um, about this app. So one of the cool things is there's these shapes. Um, so a shape is basically, let's go to this layer, select a new color, um, is how you can um, draw in a straight line. So it will, if you want to draw a straight line, you can just um, follow this ruler basically, or I could select like a oval, um, change the color, or I mean change the size, and it would draw a perfect circle. Or I can even like stretch it. Um, I can go in there and twist it if I want. And it, it will just uh, follow the shape that you're creating. Um, so on that uh, Yeti one, uh, that's how I got a lot of these like super clean lines um, is by using like the shape um, to draw the outlines of it. But yeah, I'm still very, very new to this. Um, there's still a lot I need to learn. Um, but overall, I really, really love this iPad Pro um, for uh, creating these doodles and these illustrations. Um, it, it has really been like a game changer, honestly, uh, moving from the Wacom tablet, which I was using before, um, to actually being able to draw and see what I'm drawing. But yeah, that is all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section down below. If I know the answer, I am happy to answer any questions that you may have. And also, if you want to follow along with my doodles, you can go to mckinseychild.me slash doodles. Um, I just uh, launched my new website and uh, am putting them all there. I'm also adding them all to Instagram. So if you want to follow me there, my username's at mckinseychild. Um, and I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. So yeah, uh, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I wanna say thank you for watching. Um, if you did enjoy it, give it a, a thumbs up or a comment down below. And if you're not already, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. But that is all for this one, my friends. I will talk to you all soon. Peace.